thank you. Last season was always going to be just a race against the clock and as as life goes, I'm perfectly fine now, but we always knew that August was going to be a bit of a push, so we're still grateful that we made that, but I'm yeah, I'm fine now. It would be really, really nice to kind of go to the Commonwealth Games and hopefully show my true potential, but at the same time, there's so many factors that go into that, so I'm just hoping that I have a nice fluid training block and I can go into the Commonwealth yeah, and put together a good performance. You've got placing targets, but in terms of times, you don't really target that because um, you do have the rest of the season, you've still got the whole Diamond League to do and you've still got the European Championship, so maybe you won't see the blazing times that you'd expect in August, September, but um, in terms of trying to finish in the medals, I'd definitely like to think of myself as going for that. Yeah, I'm really, really excited to go to the Gold Coast. It's been a long-term target of mine, so if you look at the fourth places, I mean, I was, well, how old am I? I'm 21. <laughs> you had 20-year-olds, you had 24-year-olds, and people who still have another two Olympics, two, three Olympics in them. So if you think that these people are finishing fourth and just off the medals so young, when the other people who kind of got the medals probably only got them when they were 28 or 30, then you've kind of got to think, oh, what are these people going to be doing when next time the Olympics comes around? Lots and lots of those fourth places were kind of unexpected, certainly mine after breaking my foot that was very unexpected for me you kind of got to think that hopefully I could do better than that when I have <laughs> not broken my foot in a season Mo's kind of retired from track and Jess obviously have a second child so they won't be um, obviously on the team sheet for the Commonwealth Games but away from that I think probably all of the top five athletes that we've got for British Athletics are on, are on there. So it is a really, really strong team that we're taking and we all should do well as a team. I just want to go out there and represent my country to the best of my ability. So whether I could come back with medals now or medals in the future, I'd be that would be my absolute aim. And if that comes with the tagline of being, I don't know, one of the headliners, then I guess so be <laughs> No, 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 it's not, to be fair, I mean, it's pressured, but our job is to compete in front of 80,000 people. Our job is pressure. But in terms of pressure, like, wider than that, I think you're talking, like, outside the performance and just generally. Um, no, that's just part of our job. It's part and parcel of what we do. I think, you know, I've got a few different targets I'd be, be happy with. Obviously, I'd love a medal, but I wouldn't be disappointed if I got, you know, a, a personal best. I wanted to back up the Rio Olympics and the noise and the... The British crowd were just incredible. I knew they would be, and I felt I'd let some people down there. And as I was being taken off the course, they were chanting my name. And it shows where I, I've taken the event uh, and, and kind of pushed uh, my own career as well. That comes with the pressure then of being in the public eye a little bit more. I've learned a lot from coming sixth at the Olympic Games. You know, one high, one real low. And as I say, it won't have the same depth of field like a World Championships or Olympic Games does, but the quality is still the very very best so I feel you know if I can go there and achieve what I really want to achieve it's not going to be a, a walk in the park if you've had a pun I'm really excited though to, to get back to being me and being kind of at the top of my game